Hey guys, happy Tuesday, the start of another weekly vlog. I wanted to give you a... <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I wanted to give you guys an update because obviously my recovery from my running injury is ongoing. 100%, it's ongoing. Yesterday, my weekly vlog of me starting running again, all that positive, happy energy, good vibes went up last night. I am obviously talking as if you've been around this whole time. So just in case you are new, don't worry. If you've been before, this will only be like the 10 second version. <laughs> if you are new, hello, my name is Lucy. I've been on a running and weight loss journey since February, 2020. Back then I weighed 230 pounds and I couldn't run for more than 30 seconds at a time. I've gone on a huge journey. So to cut a very, very, very long story short, I've decided to create the content that I was in need of back then, trying to find an honest, relatable, runner someone who looked like i did and managed to become a runner i couldn't relate to the athletic type online who was making it look easy you know to cut an even longer story short <laughs> it's now 2024 and i got injured and i didn't run for three months so just in case this is your first video with me <laughs> then hello if you are in need of a virtual running buddy hit the subscribe button down below i have literally the best running buddies here okay so my injury update I have ran on my on my foot. I was going to say, obviously, I've ran on my foot and run on my head. I've been on three or four runs now. I think I'm going to say three. Yeah, I've been on about three runs since I started getting back into running again. Today's Tuesday and I ran, the most recent run was on Sunday before, obviously. It was kind of like a last minute thing. I'd had a morning watching movies with my family and it was miserable weather, but my foot felt okay. And I felt like, do you know what? I'm, I'm in desperate need of a run and my foot feels okay. So boom, I'm gonna get those trainers on. The weather was terrible, <laughs> awful, but you know what? It was almost like I wanted it to be bad. I completed four miles and I did those four miles relatively easy. I found a flat area and it rained, like heavy, heavy rain. I was soaking wet, I got absolutely drenched, but I absolutely loved it. I didn't need to have to stop and walk. I forced myself to stop and stretch my lower calf muscles every half mile. And I didn't need to get my breath back, try and like, have a minute so I can see if I can keep going. I just got into the flow and it felt incredible. I'm gobsmacked that I got to that point where I'm only a couple runs back in and I felt that flow. It was really, really, really nice. But I will say, I do think it's because I stayed on the flat and I think I'm gonna stay on the flat a lot more at the moment because I think that's gonna really, really help me with my fitness. Because the hills, they absolutely see me off in terms of I can't breathe, I can't do this. <laughs> my legs are turning into bricks. <laughs> and also it's not great for my Achilles as well. My physio told me to keep off the hills. So I will be keeping off the hills and staying really, really flat from here on out. But that was on the Sunday and it was a good few days since my last shockwave treatment. Now the shockwave treatment, <laughs> speak the shockwave treatment that i had was my last one it was my sixth session i did tell her where i believe the pain is you know where i had it done the last time if you've been before you'll know she did it in the same area but a bit lower she focused all around there and she kind of let me guide her sort of where it was hurting it was really really painful and i didn't feel like i felt any like proper results like i did before so in the vlog that I was talking about before, I was like, you know, one and a half to two out of 10. This, since having that one, it hasn't really settled down. I ran on it and today being Tuesday, it's been a week now since I've had that last shockwave treatment. It's only today that I really feel like back on, back to normal, if you like. It's definitely not a two out of 10 pain, but we're probably looking at maybe a three to four out of 10. And that's now the best that it's been in the last week. So I am getting there. It's very, very slow recovery, but I am getting there. I'm petrified that I've peaked. I've done really well and it's just not gonna get better again. I'm just gonna stay bad, but 
I do feel like I could run today. The reason I'm not running today is because we had an IKEA delivery and I needed to stay in for that. It has now come, but I now need to go and do a food shop because we have no dinner at all in the house. Well, there's dinner for my husband and my daughter, but there's nothing for me and we can't be having that. <laughs> so I'm gonna film a run with me tomorrow. Are we updated? I've been talking for a long time. But anyway, yes, Tuesday, that's my update and we will see how things go. <laughs> happy wednesday i have just dropped off my daughter at school so now is the time to go for a run <laughs> i was going to film a dedicated run with me on this run today but i have a run with me scheduled for monday the 30th and this weekly vlog will come i'm just trying to think when would be best to do it so would it be best to do that run with me then we follow on with this vlog and then do another one, I don't know, it's all getting a bit much because basically what I want to avoid is I'm not quite ready yet to do two videos a week again. I really loved doing two videos a week. I think two videos a week for me is perfect and I want to get back into that. But the problem is I don't know how often and how vloggable my runs are gonna be. What I'm thinking is I'm just going to include the run in this vlog. So we'll see it now. So you ain't gotta wait for it. Because I worry that sometimes I get really far ahead and if I then have this video and the run with me and the one, then I'm three weeks ahead and I'm still gonna be vlogging back here, you know, like. So this video will come after the run with me and then I can make another run with me and then it will be okay. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how my foot goes. I might end up doing two videos a week again pretty soon, but for now, let's get dressed for a run. Okay, <laughs> was any of that necessary? I don't think it was, but let's go. <laughs> I'm going to show you my running outfit. I don't normally do this actually, but I have realised as I was getting dressed and thought, oh, I might show my outfit, that it's basically all Gymshark. <laughs> I don't buy Gymshark often, so the fact that I have a complete Gymshark outfit is quite rare, but when I do buy, it's always in the sales, so keep an eye out for the sales. Gymshark, I find, is fantastic not just for the gym but for running in this is a long sleeve gymshark top what i like about this one is it's thin so i can unzip if i get hot because i still get hot even if it's cold outside and i have thin clothes on so if you look how thin it is can you ah oh, you can't really tell but it is thin so i have this my shorts are the shorts that I ran my ultra marathon in actually and um, they're also Gymshark. <laughs> and I have my socks. You ready for this one? <laughs> they came in a pack of three and I think they were about £10 and I paid obviously full price for those but you know. Right well, oh and I'm going to be wearing my ultras with an insole to help my Achilles, so. And a vest, I'm gonna take a run of vest because I'm gonna need a drink. I've got back in, now I'm back, run <laughs> hold on. Now I'm back running, I've got really, really thirsty on my runs. I was used to running before, so I used to just take a bottle and I, I wouldn't even have half of it most of the time. But this time I'm like emptying it out completely within the first two miles. <laughs> Right, let's get going. I'm not too sure how many miles I want out of this run, but for some reason I'm thinking four, but like four is a minimum. So if I can do more than four, then I will. But if I'm struggling, then keep going until I get to four. Does that sound like a good plan? I'm not too sure. I'm really, I really don't know, but because I don't really have like a foolproof get back to running plan, I'm just literally taking it as it comes. Based on what I've run previously, and how I'm feeling that might be okay but saying that my foot's been really really sore and stiff the last couple of days so maybe just like a couple miles will do also a couple of things to note here I didn't check the weather before I came um, and I haven't checked it now either if it starts to rain not only is it totally unexpected even though it has been raining every day for the last you know four or five days it's also rude and unnecessary so We'll see what the weather holds out for us. I also am glad that I'm not filming a full run with me because I've got 30% battery on my phone and my camera is dead. Even if I wanted to bring my camera, which sometimes I do, 
I can't. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can manage. I'm just so out of the swing of running. I'm so out of the swing of vlogging. We'll see what happens. Will, will she get four miles? Let's put you on the edge of your seats. Will I get four miles? <laughs> I also don't know where I want to do these said four miles. <sighs> and I didn't warm up in the kitchen at home. So what I did was I did like quick walk up the hill and I've ended up here and I didn't really want to be here so that's great it's very hilly around here so I'm just a bit why am I walking this way I'm heading down there and it's very uneven and hilly I don't know why I'm doing that is that I don't know I don't know what I'm doing help send help but will the camera capture this gorgeous morning look at that maybe that's why i naturally came down here because it's foggy misty you know autumn i'm three quarters of a mile in and what i did was i just like turned around where i was and came back went down a hill and now i'm back where i was in my run with me now what I do is every mile I've been stopping and stretching my calves but <laughs> if you see somewhere I can stop and stretch my calves let me know because I like to lean up against like a, a post or a tree I mean I could use a tree but I mean look at them I have to get in the bush I have to get in the tree <laughs> there's also some workmen at the end of this road and I don't know if they're going to be coming up and down here so I don't really want to stay here for that reason either. Just awkward in it. You feel like you're in the way and I don't want to run straight ahead because straight ahead, if I keep going, is the biggest hill. And leading up to that hill is some more quite decent hills. So I don't want to go there either. I'm a bit like, mm, at nearly at a mile. I might just, oh, there's a post. I will come back to you post. That's the first mile done. And I feel alright, you know. My legs feel jelly-like. I'm not like drastically out of breath. <laughs> Although I am a bit huffy. Oh no, I remember this. <laughs> okay, all of that, that's stinging nettles. To get to that pole, I need to go through stinging nettles. And last time I did this, I got myself stung. Bad. All up my legs. Other than that, these are the trees I'm working with, so <sighs> let's do this. <laughs> I've stopped a little early because I really struggled on that one. There were some big hills that I forgot about. Well, they're not big. They're just hills, you know, and the hills suck. So, yeah, I've stopped a little bit early and I'm stretching off now. I don't feel like I'm stretching off enough, um, but I'm, I'm doing what I can. I'm not doing the walk breaks anymore. I'm just doing the stretching. Um... So I should probably take more time doing the stretching than I did on the first one. That might be why I'm struggling a bit. But I think, I don't think I picked the pace up in mile two. I really don't think I did because I was doing some heels. So that's probably why I'm so tired. But the other day when I was running in the rain, the first two miles like always suck. Like always, every time. There's no exceptions. <laughs> so basically what I'm hoping for is I'm hoping to now just get into the flow of things. And uh, hopefully getting to mile three won't be too difficult. <laughs> I've gone a little bit further <laughs> than I was when I last spoke to you. Ooh, I am out of breath. <laughs> yeah, I just got into that flow that I said I was going to get into. But it was helpful that there was a lot of downhills and then I just looped around a flat area. So I got, yeah, quite a lot done. It was less than two miles when I last spoke to you. So yeah, I'm just going to have like a, a cool off walk and I'm going to keep going till four miles and walk home. And I'm very glad that I decided to not film a run with me today because the area that I ended up in was full of people doing PT and I don't like filming when there's like loads of other people because you know, they're technically working aren't they? So they don't want to be put on my channel. I don't want them on there either, so. <laughs> I've gone very red in the face, haven't I? <laughs> I just took my picture for Instagram. If you're not following at Lucy Shaw Vlogs at in on Instagram, I'll link it below. I just took my selfie for Instagram and I just realised I look very, very pink. <laughs> That's alright, it's okay. I am really hot though, to be fair. It's warmer than it looks, but it didn't rain, so well done weather. 
proves that you don't need to check. <laughs> you should check the weather. Did big stretching in the garden. I go over the top now with my stretching, especially my calves. I feel good. I feel great. And I think my next run, I'm already thinking about my next one. <laughs> Maybe the weekend, I could do another one. I ran on Sunday, today's Wednesday, so if I maybe run again on a Sunday, um, I don't think I'm gonna get three runs in. It's actually my birthday on Friday, um, but I won't be running, I'm going out with Matt, so potentially one more run at the weekend. I'll see how my foot feels, but I'll obviously let you guys know how it feels. I did end up doing more than four miles, so that's a bonus, isn't it? <laughs> hey guys, it's quite a fair bit later um i can't remember the last time i spoke to you i don't remember what day it was oh <laughs> hello yay i'm sat on the floor hello i can't remember what day i last spoke to you um but it's now tuesday <laughs> it's now tuesday the the next week i don't really know where to start the reason i didn't continue the weekly vlog from wherever I left it um, is I've had some um, <laughs> I've had some really 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 horrible horrible news and basically I, I don't want to vlog this portion of my life <laughs> I know that's gonna sound like so dramatic and over the top um, but making these videos and vlogging is my favorite hobby it's like one of my favorite things that i do i love creating these videos and i love connecting with you guys trying to get my message out there that if i can do it so can you we're in this together we've got this honestly one of the best decisions i've ever made is starting this channel it brings me so much joy and i'm so lucky to have such amazing amazing people watch my video but um last week i ran and I celebrated my birthday, had a lovely, lovely birthday, um, but something happened on my birthday and a couple of days later, um, I sadly, I sadly lost my nan. I just could not pick the camera up. Um, I hope that you'd understand that those, these last few days, um, I'm even struggling now to be honest, um, to do this the last few days just picking up the camera and filming was didn't enter my head at all i did not want to capture any of this so if i end up going a little bit quiet on here uh please bear with me i will be back soon while i'm here though um i did go and see my physio yesterday and i had acupuncture she did some stretching she did um some stuff to my calves <laughs> she was incredible she's given me some extra physio to do so i've actually got quite a lot of physio to do thankfully i'm not i'm not working at the moment for completely other reasons um it's all worked out that at least i don't have to worry about getting on my laptop and getting on with work i can grieve and focus on getting those extra physio sessions done, distract myself in other ways. So thankfully I don't have to worry about that. She does want to see me again. She thought that, that yesterday was going to be the last physio that I was going to need, but to be honest, I've been in quite a bit of pain. Um, even the last time I spoke with you guys, I think it was when I was running. I honestly can't remember. I have huge brain fog right now, but the pain that I've been in, it's just been consistent. It's not eased off. It's probably always a baseline six out of ten um if it's not six out of ten it's worse than that hopefully all of this extra stretching physio and everything i'm gonna play it by ear i am gonna still go for a run i don't know when yet and when i do go if i feel like i can pick up the camera and i'm not too miserable um then i definitely will be bringing you with me because i adore running with you guys it's probably it will probably make me feel so much better to have chats with you while I'm on my runs but if I can't and I don't feel like I want to capture then um, I hope you understand fingers crossed if I'm gonna miss any videos it's just gonna be one but if I've gone quiet that is why and I really really hope you enjoyed this video a run with me was uploaded yesterday and I'm yet to answer the comments I've read all of them so far and yeah <laughs> so one of the comments was just honestly brought a huge huge smile to my face and having that in such a sad time um, 
is such a blessing and I'm so so lucky to have such incredible people but I'm gonna love you and leave you here make sure to hit that subscribe button there is plenty of run with me's on my channel and there will be plenty more to come thank you so much for all of your love and support and I will see you guys soon for some more updates bye guys